Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to study about the univariate and bivariate frequency distribution and how to construct a frequency table for the same. So uh, before we move on, uh, just visit our channel to check the uh, dis frequency distribution and class intervals and learn and come back once again uh, to learn about this univariate and frequency distribution. So now when we go for uh, the univariate means uni means single. So univariate frequency distribution is nothing but it contains a single variable. Okay, so now univariate single variable. See marks of a student. See, for example, I can show here actually uh, 45 marks in a particular subject is scored by 12 students. Similarly, 53 marks is scored by 3 and 62 marks scored by 9 students in a particular class. This particular thing is called a frequency distribution. So now, uh, first of all, we, we should understand what is called a bivariate uh, frequency distribution here. So a bivariate frequency distribution is the frequency distribution of two variables. When we have two variables, we'll call it as bi. Bi means two. So therefore, it is called bivariate frequency distribution. See, for example, marks of students in two different subjects. We can take it for granted. See here, marks in biostatistics, marks in research methodology. I can go for it. See, 35 marks scored in biostatistics by a student one student two, student three. So both are paired here, paired marks. See, for example, marks scored in biostatistics of a particular student is 35, the same student scored 44, etc. See, now we have got for three students. When these type of sums are given, uh, this particular thing is called bivariate frequency distribution. So now, how to calculate class interval? We are having Sturge's rule. So this uh, you want to know before construct uh, uh, frequency distribution here. Okay, now size of a class interval, larger number minus smaller number by number of classes. This particular number of classes is uh, calculated using this formula, one plus 3.322 into log n, where n is the total number of observations here. So now we shall have an example to find it out, see, construct a frequency table, okay? This is a univariate data. I want to know how many class interval I just wanted to have, okay? So this is nothing but maximum class intervals will be calculated using the formula. You can reduce one or two according to your wish. You can change the sizes also. There is no hard rules here. Now we can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my n is 10 here, so I can use the formula. Uh, here, see number of classes is 3.322 into log n, it is 1, 3.322 into log 10, log 10 will give you 1, so that 1 plus 3.322, so I can round it to 4, okay, so number of classes may be 4, I can have it 3 also. Nothing wrong in there. I can have five also. It is, there is no hard rules here, right? So now, size of the class interval, I can go for larger numbers, uh, for example, eight here. Uh, please make a correction here. Eight. Eight minus uh, zero by four, I can have it as two. Okay, so make a small correction here. So now, eight minus zero divided by four, which gives you two. My class size will be uh, two. So uh, my smaller number is zero. So zero to two. 2 to 4 and 4 to 6, 6 to 8, like that, I can have my data here. Okay, we'll quickly move on to a smaller example so that you will understand this. See, for example, concept of frequency table 0, 8, 7, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1, 3, it's like this. So we are going to construct a frequency table like this. So what I, I, I do is I'm going to have uh, the uh, frequency table like this. See, 0 to 2, then 3 to 5, then 6 to 8. And I want to make this class boundaries. Okay, so how class boundaries are made. See, for example, you take this 2, you take this 3, add these 2. So what happens here? 2 plus 3 divided by 2 will give you 5 by 2. It is, see, now what's the difference? First, I have to find out what is the difference here. Now, this 2 and 3, my difference is 1. 3 minus 2, my difference is 1 divided by 2. So, I'll get 0 0.5. So, I'll subtract from the 
lower limit and add to the upper limit. So these are all given previously in our channel. Just visit this to make this class boundaries as the inclusive class interval here. Okay, so now this is inclusive class interval. Now this is exclusive class interval. So I want to make this first, then see 0 0.5 minus and 2.5. So what is the value coming here? I'm going to put a tally mark. See, for example, I'll take this zero. It belongs to this particular group. So I'll put a tally mark here. Just you can see that. Okay. So now zero, I'm putting a tally mark here. So finished. Now I'll go for eight. Eight. This eight. Eight belongs in this group. So I'll put a tally mark here. Similarly, for all the numbers, I am going to put a tally mark where it belongs. Okay. So now you can see this. And then what I can do is I can count these things and write. So now this comes around three. I'm sorry, four here. Okay. Four. And this comes around two here. And this comes around four here. Okay, this is how we are constructing a frequency table or frequency distribution table for a univariate data. Now we shall move on uh, to construct a frequency table for the bivariate data. See, for example, I have got a data where X denotes the marks in biostatistics here and Y marks in research methodology. These are all the marks given by students. Okay. So now this is student one, student two, like that we can take. I am going to construct a bivariate frequency table, okay? Now, this is the sum given. Now, always uh, just check uh, this one particular variable should be in horizontal and one should be in vertical. Uh, for your convenience, I, I have made uh, the same class interval up to 45 to 50. It is also completing here by 45 to 50, but it may have different types also here. Now, always check for this intersection here. Uh, we just go here. Okay. Now, now here, just check where this 37 uh, belongs in the horizontal axis. 37 comes in this column particular, right? The same corresponding value 30, where it lies. 30 should lie here, okay? Should not take here. 30 should lie here, okay? So now what is the intersection? This is the particular column of intersection. So I have to put the value one because it is one set of value. So I'm going to put one tally mark here for me to understand here. So I am just putting one tally mark here in this particular thing. Okay, so I'm going to change a color so that you will understand. Okay, so now I'm going to check, see now 37 and 30, 37 in horizontal, 37 belongs here and 30 here. So I'm putting one. Similarly, 20, 32, 20 where it comes, 20 here and 32 comes here. Okay, so now 46, 41, 46 comes here and 41 comes here. Okay, now 28, 28, 33. So now 28 and 33. Similarly, 35, 29, 35 and 29, um, 26, 43. So 26 and 43. Similarly, 41, 30. 41 comes here. 30 comes here. Okay. Now 48, 21. 48 and 21. Then 32, 44. 32 and 44. Then 23, 38, 23, 23, and 38, uh, 20, 47, 20, yes, 20, 47, 
and it is here one it is here five and here it is one and then here it is four and here it is one so i'm going to count five ten uh, sixteen so my value comes correctly horizontally and vertically this is how i am uh, just constructing a bivariate frequency distribution for the given data Okay, so now uh, sometimes it may have five years, six years like that, okay, according to your sum. Okay, I hope you, you understood uh, this, how to construct bivariate uh, frequency table. And if you have any uh, doubt, you can always uh, welcome to ask in our channel. Just kindly visit, share it and like this. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.